three, two, one, ignition. According to the Federation of American Scientists, a ballistic missile is one that has a ballistic trajectory over most of its flight path. What that means is that once the missile burns up the fuel that propels it, the missile keeps moving, the same way that a bullet does after it's been fired out of a gun. Once the fuel is gone, the missile's direction can't be altered. It follows a path determined by the speed of its launch and the force of gravity trying to pull it back towards the Earth's surface. Eventually, gravity guides the missile and its payload. An intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, is a guided ballistic missile with a minimum range of 5,500 kilometers, 3,400 miles, primarily designed for nuclear weapons delivery, delivering one or more thermonuclear warheads. Similarly, conventional chemical and biological weapons can also be delivered with varying effectiveness, but have never been deployed on ICBMs. Most modern designs support multiple independently targeted re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, allowing a single missile to carry several warheads, each of which can strike a different target. ICBMs are much faster and have a greater range than other types of ballistic missiles, which include intermediate-range ballistic missiles (IRBMs), medium-range ballistic missiles (MRBMs), short-range ballistic missiles (SRBMs), and tactical ballistic missiles (TBMs). The missiles can also be launched in different ways, from underground missile silos, submarines, heavy trucks, or mobile launchers on rails. Russia, the United States, China, North Korea, and India are the only countries currently known to possess land-based ICBMs. Israel has also tested ICBMs but is not open about actual development. The US, Russia, United Kingdom, France, India, and China are also current operators of ICBMs that can be launched from submarines. Early ICBMs had limited precision, which made them suitable for use only against the largest targets, such as cities. They were seen as a safe basing option, one that would keep the deterrent force close to home where it would be difficult to attack. Attacks against military targets, especially hardened ones, still demanded the use of a more precise manned bomber. Second- and third-generation designs, such as the LGM-118 Peacekeeper, dramatically improved accuracy to the point where even the smallest point targets can be successfully attacked. Who invented ICBM? The first ICBMs were deployed by the Soviet Union in the late 1950s, with the US following soon afterwards. Early versions of the missile had limited precision, meaning they could only effectively be used against large targets like cities. Accuracy improved dramatically in later models, allowing the weapon to successfully strike the smallest of targets. Modern designs tend to be smaller and lighter than their ancestors. They also allow a single mission to carry multiple warheads, each of which can be sent in a different direction to strike a different target. The first practical design for an ICBM grew out of Nazi Germany's V-2 rocket program. The liquid-fueled V-2, designed by Werner von Braun and his team, was widely used at the end of World War II to bomb British and Belgian cities. Under Project America, von Braun's team developed the A9 and 10 ICBM, intended for use in bombing New York City and other American cities. Initially intended to be guided by radio, it was changed to be a piloted craft after the failure of Operation Elster. The second stage of the A9-A10 rocket was tested a few times in January and February 1945. After the war, the US executed Operation Paperclip, which brought von Braun and hundreds of other leading German scientists to the United States to develop IRBMs, ICBMs, and launchers for the US Army. After World War II, the US and USSR started rocket research programs based on the V-2 and other German wartime designs. Each branch of the U.S. military started its own programs, leading to considerable duplication of effort. In the USSR, rocket research was centrally organized, although several teams worked on different designs. In the USSR, early development was focused on missiles able to attack European targets. This changed in 1953 when Sergei Korolyov was directed to start development of a true ICBM able to deliver newly developed hydrogen bombs. Given steady funding throughout, the R-7 developed with some speed. 
The first launch took place on 15 May 1957 and led to an unintended crash 400 kilometers 250 miles from the site. The first successful test followed on 21 August 1957. The R-7 flew over 6,000 kilometers 3,700 miles and became the world's first ICBM. The first strategic missile unit became operational on 9 February 1959 at Plesetsk in northwest Russia. In 1991, the United States and the Soviet Union agreed in the START-1 treaty to reduce their deployment ICBMs and attributed warheads. As of 2016, all five of the nations with permanent seats on the United Nations Security Council have operational long-range ballistic missile systems. Russia, the United States, and China also have land-based ICBMs. The U.S. missiles are silo-based, while China and Russia both have silo and road mobile DF-31 RT-2 PMP Topol-M missiles. How fast does an ICBM travel? An intercontinental ballistic missile constantly changes speed and altitude, but the peak speed of an ICBM is about 6 to 7 kilometers per second. New York to Moscow is 7,500 kilometers, and at 6.5 kilometers per second would take about 20 minutes for a missile to reach there. The world's longest range ICBM. The R-36M SS-18 Satan is the world's longest range ICBM with a range of 16,000 kilometers. With a weight of 8.8 .8 tons, the R-36M is also the heaviest ICBM in the world. The R-36M has been built in different versions ranging from Mod 1 to Mod 6. The variants were designed for firing from silo-based launch sites. Some of the R-36M versions are capable of carrying 10 multiple independent re-entry vehicles MIRVs, warheads with 550 kilotons to 750 kilotons of yield each. The first R-36M Mod 1 variant was deployed by the Soviet Union Strategic Rocket Forces in 1975. The two-stage rocket is powered by liquid rocket engines, providing a speed of 7.9 km per second. The engines utilize storable liquid propellant with unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine UDMH fuel and nitrogen tetroxide acting as an oxidizer. 